I'm Tony Poulos and I'm with Huawei at Communicasia 2014 in Singapore. Today I have with me Shei Jing Long, who is the Director of Wireless Marketing for South Pacific at Huawei. Jing Long, in this mobile broadband era that we're in, what really does make an excellent broadband network? As we know, user experience is an essential requirement for mobile network. So we say an excellent MBB network must be a good user experience network. Well, as we all know, the, uh, the very big challenge for MBB network is that uh, revenue increment is not as fast as the uh, traffic increment. So we say ROI is another very important concern of all, all, uh, all of mobile operators. So uh, complete Huawei MBB, uh, excellent MBB network concept is both a technology point of view but also business point of view. So for business, business point of view, we say how we have to uh, help operators to increase the capex efficiency, increase the up, and even increase the uh, revenue of MBB operators. Are you able to introduce the Huawei mobile broadband network to an existing network operator to improve their performance? Yeah, it's a great question. As I mentioned, Huawei's an excellent MBB network is both a technical point of view, but also a business point of view. So I would like to answer questions from two aspects. From technical po point of view, uh, to get the good user experience, we generally speaking, you add more size, you use more spectrum, you use the, uh, the leading technology, for example, 3G or 4G, as earlier as more, then you can get good user experience. User experience. So easily answer your questions, you give me enough money, return you an uh, excellent MVP network. Well, the question is how to cut down the cost of the user experience. So I have two technical stresses to you. The first one is we call it X mega BPS. X mega BPS means we um, supply a suitable user experience with the uh, right solutions. Huawei MBB platform can help operators uh, easily to identify different, different, um, uh, different areas the target user experience based on the user distribution, based on the terminal distribution, based on the service distribution. Well, right, then, uh, right, well, then Huawei can use the uh, right solution to fill the gap between the target user experience and the existing network user experience. For example, we use um, Easy Macro and the Wideband AAU to easy the outdoor macro deployment. We use our um, uh, series of small cell solution and the lamp cell solution to easy the indoor coverage and the blind, uh, blind spot, hotspot deployment, right? Another technical situation is um, orchestration. We know orchestration can increase the total efficiency, can use, increase the total network performance. So, uh, for example, we use the orchestration between the LTE FDD and LTE TDD. We call it one LTE solution. The orchestration between the small cell and the macro cell network uh, orchestration. The orchestration between the Wi-Fi network and cellular network. So and also the occasion between um, the multi-stream or multi-carrier, we call it uh, multi-carrier aggregation or multi-stream ag aggregation. So this is two uh, technical suggestions. Um, from the business point of view, I have also two suggestions to uh, mobile operators. The first uh, business uh, suggestion is um, migration. We know um, the spectrum efficiency uh, of the 3G or 4G is higher than 2G and the network performance is better than 2G. So migration to 2G users to 3G or migration to 3G users to 4G can easily increase um, the, the up or increase the user experience. Huawei MBB platform can easily help our operators to identify the valuable 2G users to migration to 3G or help operators to identify the valuable 3G users to migration to, uh, to 4G. And then we have a series of network solutions to help the operators to, to do the migration job. So this is the first uh, uh, business suggestion. Another business suggestion is a uh, curate investment. We call it a core color investment uh, solution. Uh, how MBB plat platform can help our operators to uh, curate, predict the future revenue increase or future network performance increase of different sites after your investment. And then we marked the different site with different color. And we clarified with four colors. Then our operators can easily make decision how to invest your uh, different size. For example, you invite this size to increase your revenue. You invite another size to increase the performance, or both the performance or, invest, uh, or the revenue. 
Um, so then the MBB operator's uh, revenue investment decision can very, very easily to be made. Do you have any examples or even case studies of existing excellent mobile broadband networks? Uh, you know, Huawei has already deployed the most of the LTE network in the world. So we have hundreds of uh, success MBB, uh, excellent MBB stories to tell you. Uh, for example, um, we used um, uh, the one LTE solution in, uh, in Japan Softbank. Bank. We used uh, migration in Thailand AS in China Unicom. And we used X Megabps in China Unicom. And uh, we used the core color investment in Indonesia te uh, Telecom Cell. And uh, benefit from the development of MBB and the Huawei leading market share of MBB, I think we will have more and more success, uh, successful MBB story to tell you in the future. Jin Long, thank you so much for explaining the difference between excellent mobile broadband networks. Thank you.